Hi boys and girls, hi third grade. So today we're gonna be working on a clay project. Um, I couldn't find your guys' clay mats, so if you guys want to use a paper plate, if you wanna use a newspaper, um, a paper, whatever you can find, um, but make sure that you don't put it on top of your table or anything like that because we don't wanna ruin anything, okay? Um, okay, so we're going to be making a three-leaf clover in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so I have my mat here. Um, I have my clay. So I'm going to put out, um, I guess, like a cutie size. I'm going to get like two of those cutie size amounts, okay? So pardon my reach. And I'm going to get... A little bit more in here. So I got one there, and then I'm gonna get another one. So two keys. So I forgot my sculpting tools at school, and I'm not at school right now. So I had to improvise. Um, I thought a toothpick would be good, but I can't find my toothpicks. So I'm gonna use a fork, just a plastic fork. Okay, so I have two. Uh, cutie size amounts of clay. Um, you guys know that if your clay is not soft, you can use your body heat to make it soft, right? You need to get it warm and then you can um, just kind of rub it in between your hands. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do right now is with one piece of clay here, I'm going to gather three separate, uh, ball-like shapes, okay? So I got three. So one, two, three. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I need to create like a circle. So I'm going to cut this in half. So now I have a circle here, or a, a ball here. I'm going to create this as a circle. So I got it. I'm going to uh, <clears throat> make a ball. Kind of uh, this motion. You guys know how to do this. We've been doing this since the beginning of the year, so you know how to make a make a ball. Okay, so I'm gonna flatten that out with my palm. Flatten it out. <clears throat> Flip it over. I'm just gonna try and flatten out my clay like this, okay? Hope you guys are doing well. I miss you guys already. I miss seeing your faces and talking to you. Okay. I'm gonna flip it over, just kind of flatten it again. With my palm. Okay, so I have a circle there. Make sure you lift it up because you don't want it to um, stick to whatever surface you are using. Okay, so I got there. So now I'm going to cut this in half. I need to create like a uh, stem for my clover. So I got my, I'm gonna make a ball. So I'm trying to flatten this out now like a sneak. Okay, it's getting longer. Okay, I have that. Okay, now I'm gonna keep that to the side. Uh, place it to the side. Okay, so now, I'm gonna try and create three hearts, okay? So, roll it in a ball. Flatten it out. Okay, I want my hearts to be the same size, so I'm gonna keep that one just like that. I'm gonna create another ball to look like this one here, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Line it out. Again, I want it to be more or less the same shape, okay? So I want to get another one. The same size. Okay, line it out. Okay, so I have, and again, I want them to be the same size, okay? So one, two, three. 
and I have that thick circle, and then I have a, um, it's going to be a stem, okay? So I'll put those to the side. So I want to create a heart, okay? So I'm kind of pinching the ends of my um, circle here, and I'm going to indent it here because I want to make a little heart, okay? So clovers, they kind of look like hearts, okay? And we're doing three because three is kind of like the Holy Trinity. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So we're going to try and do that, okay? Just trying to make a heart shape. That looks good. It's as good as it's going to get. So hopefully you guys can see this. So, just trying to make that heart still. Okay. Okay, put this to the side. Okay, do the same with this one. Pinch the end. I go around. I'm gonna try and create a heart. Make sure, guys, when you're working with your clay, you're not really touching anything else, okay? And don't waste the clay that you have, because we have a total of three projects we're gonna be working on. Okay, so don't use it all up, please. That'll do for that one. So let's do the same for this one. I'm gonna end there. And if I'm going too fast, pause it. Go back. Pause the video. <clears throat> okay. This one's coming out a little bit funky. And you know what, they don't have to be like perfect hearts or even the same. It's, it's fine, you know. Okay, that's gonna do it for that one. So that's to the side. Okay, so now for this point, I'm going to try and attach my stem to here. So you guys know that when we're scoring, it's very jiggity jaggedy, right? Making a bunch of lines. I kind of like to tell you guys like hashtags. I'm gonna add the um, scoring here. Jiggity jaggy hashtags, okay. And I'm gonna apply that right here. I'm gonna press down because I want it to fit like it's a, like a puzzle piece, okay. So I'm going to flatten it out, okay. My stem looks kind of long, so I'm gonna cut that part off that back in my clay. It's back in there. I'm trying to um, fix the stem there. Okay. So now, these hearts are going to go in here, okay? If you guys remember when we did our grapes, we did this very similar because sometimes when we don't have like a bottom platform, all of our clay pieces, they just fall off when it dries and we don't want that to happen, okay? Okay, so I have my circle here, so I need to add some jiggity jaggedies on the back of the heart. Okay, I'm just scraping it all up. Gosh, the fork is pretty awesome. We might have to use this in our classroom. Like that. Then I'm gonna make jiggity jaggedies all over here, so. Just scrape all on this. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna apply one right there. Press down so it can stay. Form your heart shape again because it probably got flat when you press down. <coughs> Do the same for this one. So we're only going to have one clay project a week, okay? So if you guys finish, which you probably will today, or if you decide I have too much stuff going on, I'm going to finish this on Thursday. 
We got Thursday too. I'm gonna add some lines here. Add some lines here, just in case. Press down, fix my heart shape. Now I'm going to do the same for here. Um, put it down there. So my jiggity jaggedies are only going to be from half of my heart here. Okay. Okay. Add some more lines there. Some scratches. Just like that. Okay. Down, press down. Make sure it's all connected to the circle base. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve this a little bit because I want that to dry like it looks like a real clover. I need to take off this excess clay. If you had your knife, you can use that, but I don't have my tools with me, so I have to improvise. Move that to the side. Just cutting off the access, ex, oh, access clay, sorry. Okay. Pulling it off. Pulling it off. Okay. I have a little pile here. I'm going to stick that back in my tub, tub here, okay? Because we can use that next time. I'm going to fix my edges here. Push them in. Okay. I want it to be all nice and smooth. Again, if you guys need to pause, pause the video and play it when you're ready. Okay, go at your own speed. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to try and lift it a little bit just to see what's happening here. Perfect. All right. So when you place it down to dry, you're going to want to lay it flat, okay? But that pretty much completes your three leaf clover, okay? I'm going to put it down. Then Thursday, I'll show you how it looks when it's dry. And like I said, you have some extra clay back in your tub. Like I said, if we don't finish today, um, okay you know if you want to do it on Thursday do it Thursday we have one clay project this week okay so this is it hope you guys enjoyed it and miss you I'll see you soon I will talk to you later and if you have questions dojo me bye